So we are back with another face-off, and this time it is between Applos and QuickBooks Online. If you have been thinking, ruminating, trying to determine which one of these softwares is going to be best for your organization, then keep watching. Let's jump in. So first we're gonna talk about pricing, right? Because that tends to be right where the research begins. So both of these are cloud-based tools, so they operate off of the subscription model based off of where you fall in the subscription prices determines what features you get access to, right? So if we talk about Applos, they have the $39.50, $69.50, and then $189 a month subscription. Again, if you start off with the most basic subscription, right, you know, some of your features are going to be limited. As you move up, you get more. With QuickBooks Online, it's a little bit different because you can purchase through TechSoup where you are able to get a discounted rate for the software. So you can purchase QuickBooks Online Advanced for $160 and you get 25 users, right? And so you don't have to worry about this whole subscription breakdown um, or where you fall into. You can just go ahead and get QuickBooks Online Advanced, which we usually do suggest for most organizations, and then you can start there. Now, if we want to lean in a little bit about what is making these softwares different initially, especially considering price, right, is that QuickBooks Online does market and promote itself as a accounting software for you know small business owners, right? So we know immediately that typically does not include nonprofits. However, we know in recent years, there's been a lot of changes to the software. There are a lot of things that you now can do that you couldn't before. And there are a whole host of nonprofits that use it, right? And so we know that nonprofits can use it. They can use it well, no hiccups there. Applos, on the other hand, does promote itself more on uh, being church accounting software. I think even more recently, it says like nonprofit and church accounting software. And so as you can imagine, there are some a bit differences between nonprofit accounting and church accounting and what those different uh, users or uh, management may want to see as it relates to accounting and financial reports. However, that is the difference in how they market themselves. So right off the bat, immediately you might be drawn to Applos because it is a bit more geared specifically to the nonprofit community. Another thing though that I do want to point out about Applos is that although it is specifically geared toward the nonprofit community, there are a lot more things that they offer. And so you have to be clear on what you want your software to be known for and what you want it to be able to do, right? So. An example might be, you know, with Applos, you also get a fundraising platform, um, you get some marketing features, uh, you get a donor management tool, and so you have to ask yourself, you know, do you want a lot of these things housed in the same software, or are you looking to create some separation around, like, maybe where you do your accounting versus where you do your donor management versus where you do your marketing, right? So let's move on to design. Here, I don't find that there are major differences just because these are both cloud-based tools. They are also considered more um, modern tech. And if you are you know, tech savvy, then you know a lot of these tech-based or cloud-based tools rather that are more modern, a lot of them tend to have that chic, uh, really friendly, easygoing setup, right? What I will say though is that QuickBooks Online to me has a simpler approach to the user interface where Applos, because it does a lot of different things, you are having to navigate through a lot more than just accounting. In QuickBooks, it has the main menu on the left-hand side. Applos is across the top, right? But you also are having things like um, marketing, right? Right at the top that you're looking at when you really might be in there to reconcile your books for the month. So something to think about when you are thinking about design. Now, my main issue as it relates to the design is that with Applos, it feels like the software includes accounting, but is not about or based on accounting, if that makes sense. Whereas with QuickBooks, it's all surrounding the numbers, right? It is accounting based and any additional um, tools, software or things that they provide, it's usually an add-on and it's usually in addition to the accounting software. And I actually like that it's kept separate because it can, begin to feel confusing and muddled in, in a lot of ways, depending on the size of your organization, you begin to segregate duties. And so for example, the person that is managing your accountant, accounting is also nine times out of 10, not the person that's following your, your 990. So I don't need to see e-file up at the top, right? 
um, my marketing team, my marketing team doesn't need to be in my accounting software. And so how does that work when I want to separate that out? Right. You know, do I have to manage permissions and things like that? And so, um, you might want to think about that when you're thinking about, you know, access, um, privacy, uh, internal controls, who actually needs access and where you are managing things in each software that you use. And lastly, we're gonna talk about ease of use coupled with support. So again, as it refers to ease of use, I do find that the two softwares are on par, but that is coming from an accountant. If you are in a space where you are still managing your accounting um, in like a DIY or someone who's not an accountant, your operations person, you know, you're, you have an assistant that's going in and reconciling on a monthly basis, I will say they can get a bit overwhelmed with the different options in Applos, but as with anything, you wanna be able to uh, access support, you know, blog, a forum, some videos on how to best use it. As an accountant, I find that I can easily make my way around, but I do feel like with Applos, there is just a, a lot more options and a lot more, um, when you click on, right, some of those options, a lot more included as far as the drop down, so you can easily be overwhelmed with the information. Now, as it relates to support, here they both have really good support tools, but I think QBO reigns here because of how large the community aspect is. So with QuickBooks Online, I mean, there's videos on videos on videos, there's forums, there's blogs, right? There's a lot of information out there that you can self-research, you can go after on your own before actually reaching out to them. With Applos, the information seems a little bit scarce. Some of the videos on YouTube are very outdated, very old, and for the ones that are up, it seems like it's a lot about um, accounting principles and basics, which kind of says to me that some of the people or the majority of the people that use their software aren't accountants, but it's more so like, the executive director or someone who doesn't have an accounting background and also needs to learn about accounting, if that makes sense. And so that's also something to think about. The other thing that I noticed is that with Applos, it's not so much that there's a shortage of content, but it is gated. So you typically have to provide, you know, your email or your contact information in order to get access to that. That information is a bit more up to date. But to me, once it's gated, it kind of speaks to being more for like your clients and customers versus um, someone who's kind of just trying to do a comparison and see how it is um, and like test it out. So again, I think when we get to the end of these types of videos, the question is always, so which do I use? So if you're thinking about which one is going to be best for you, um, here are some questions that you want to ask yourself. Do you want a software that caters only or specifically to nonprofit organizations? Do you want a software that also has other pieces involved like donor management, fundraising platform, um, text giving and other marketing right aspects? Or do you want a software that is only surrounding the accounting function, right? So you want to think about also who is going to be doing the accounting because the software matters in that case too. Now, what I will say is once you have hit the threshold to the point that you are being audited, you really need to separate your functions and you really need to have a dedicated accounting team that is supporting your nonprofit operations. And so that is something to consider there as well. Now, I hope those questions do help if you are thinking about Applos and QuickBooks Online. If there are any other things that you want me to dive into specifically, just leave it in the comments below. Like, subscribe. Hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.